think the Beatitudes are one of my favorite Gospels. It tells us how Christ really wants us to live. You know, blessed are the poor in spirit, blessed are the meek, blessed are those who hunger and thirst for justice sake, blessed are the peacemakers, and blessed are those who persecuted for my sake. You know, when Jesus gave the inauguration on the Sermon on the Mount. This was his, one of his greatest speeches. In contrast to today's world, they teach a very different, different, very different message. Well, the Beatitudes actually take us one step further than the commandments do. The commandments is a beautiful foundation. The Beatitudes call us to a, a higher moral plateau. It, they call us to be. The standard, the Ten Commandments, they teach us how to live what to do, what not to do, but the Beatitudes call us what we can be, uh, to build virtue, to, to live a certain way. The virtues built from the Beatitudes in comparison to the Ten Commandments, it's, a, it's just a, a building from them, um, an ongoing growth, and if we're open to it, I believe the Holy Spirit and God's grace will show us, and that perhaps they might see Christ as we can see Christ in them. If we look uh, close, we look long enough sometimes, Christ, we can see Christ walking. These are the poor Christ. These are the hurting Christ. And we are called as his disciples to minister to them uh, on this earth. So uh, that's the Beatitudes. In contrast to sometimes the world, a very different way of life that we're called to when we walk with Christ. I invite you to look at your attitudes and just see, you know, is, is there a place that we could love more tenderly and love more gently? So I invite you to look in your world today and maybe reach out to one of these people and love them the way Christ would love them. Thank you.